Help you gentlemen? Yeah. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. He about to run, bro. See? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Go him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, oh, boy. The Let's do it. It is your boy LSG Melly, and I'm bringing you guys part two of LA Noir. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I was gone for a week, but now your boy is back. So I'm getting ready to drop a whole bunch of videos for y'all. Uh, thank, <laughs> thank you guys for not unsubscribing to me. Uh, I feel like trying to get back into the swing of things has been kind of hard for me, but a lot of you guys did enjoy the LA Noir video, so I'm gonna. I, I'm doing my best to, you know, abide by everybody who was being patient with me, dropping a whole bunch of different things. But uh, yeah, we're here with LA Noor. Your boy just became a detective in the last video. So we're about to see what this journey is about to be like going from cop to detective. So this is about to be fun. If you guys are liking the content, please like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on, sit back, relax, enjoy yourselves, and uh, stay tuned for the gameplay. I'll see you guys. The driver's seat. Whoo, looking swaggy in my new suit. Woo! Yes, sir. Crispy. Ah, oh, look at the other cops. I, your boy, got promoted. Yes, sir. Look at Salty. He don't even want to say desk, nothing to kid. me. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, Detective. Burkowski. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Ugh. I don't like him already. Who is that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Hmm. Dude's hating on me already. Crazy. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. Wow. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. <laughs> Bro, get up. Yeah, yeah. You earned this Phelps spot. is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, oh, can it, boy. guys? Oh, boy, here we go. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside. I'm the new guy, and I'm about to be I'm the head of this. Like, come on case. now. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Yeah. <sighs> Watch me, watch me ace this this case basically by myself. Exit. All right, so we gotta go downstairs. I think we bust in they there really and find the goddamn quick, didn't they? Yeah, he hello, yo, I'm getting stuck. Desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? All right. I didn't ask for any favors. Right Are we gonna leave this way? This this where we leave? What do we leave? Oh, oh okay. We do go this way. Bro. 
Why the you door? You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse. Too. If you know where to go, why don't you drive, bro? They always want me to drive, man. Move. So, tell me a little back. Now I don't got time for that. Are we friends now, Rakowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Oh. Did two years ROTC before. Let me just keep this on. Shipped out in early '45 Ooh. as a first lieutenant. Fought in the opening Olive campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Spent a year on the beat. Now I'm here. Straight on here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about yes, it. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Now, let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night. Draped in the flag. Knife between your teeth. All units of 459 just occurred at 6 and 7. There's a crime this way, but I'm not responding to that. There's other cops in the area. I got stuff to do. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. Right, I did my it. part, Mikowski. What did you do? Let's do this. P.E. Freight Depot, 1058 AM. Is that you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. He had to manually let it up for me. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working student. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. Why are you being sus already, bro? We didn't even talk to you yet. All right, let me do my thing. Rakowski, stay out my way, bro, because you, you seem like you're just going to get in my in my zone. This I don't need that. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. How about you help me? Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Help me, like what? Like what you mean? Come talk to you. You need to be in the field with me, bro. Yo, how do I throw my hands? Bro? I want to fight this guy. All right, investigation music. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? Solid citizen. There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car. Car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All oh. right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. My last name is Black. Nice, nice, nice. All right, all right, How brother long man. Keep me here, sir? Brother man, talk to me. I don't want. Oh, try sir, I'm square. Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. So I just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. We don't have no evidence yet. We're gonna go, we're gonna go investigate first. We don't know what's going on right now. Watch out, gang. Bro, watch out. Oh, the trunk, the trunk, the trunk. All right, we got a still pipe. It doesn't appear to be connected. All right, nothing with the pipe. What about this letter right here? Live hall. Mr. F. Morgan. One for the file. What? Okay. Pig yesterday? Live hog. Okay. That's a lot of blood to be a human. Like, a human produced all this? Sheesh. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Word. This it? All right, let me talk. Let me talk to homie right here. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. Victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Nah. We already checked. Now we got some stuff right here. What's this? Oh, we got a wallet. 
Y'all, y'all so dumb. Never leave your wallet if you're gonna be a criminal. All right, Adrian Black. Interview years Mr. old, Black. married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Man's left his wallet out. Right, let's check the picture. Happier times, I guess. I hope he didn't kill his wife. Shoo. Might seem happy on the outside, but shoo, you'll be surprised. A lot of things be going on in house that we don't even be knowing about. This is why I don't pay attention to people. Uh, I don't pay attention to like, um, wait. Bro, there's something right here. Yeah. Stenzel glasses. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. That's why I like when they come to like celebrities and like people who seem so happy, never pay attention to that because you never know what people got going on at home. Like I don't know who dead. Oh, we got a blood oh the bloody pipe. So this was the weapon used. Insta heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. Insta heat. We got blood on it. You don't want to. Did you check the name? You didn't even mention the name, bro. <sighs> There's still music going on. Hey, Flatfoot, you're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> what? What crate? You guys take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still punching the clock. Yo, why is it? <laughs> Yo, he just started taking off full sprint. Is there anything over here that I need? The music stopped running. The music stopped going, so... I don't think I need anything over here. Why are you following me? Where are you going? Alright, we're gonna go back to the crime scene because... I need to know if I got everything. All right, we're going to talk to him right here. We're going to ask him some questions. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. I believe him. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. knowledge of adrian black do you know adrian black mr wilkie no sir that ain't a name i'm familiar with why the fuck you lying we're gonna use intuition Huh. We're gonna, I don't I don't I don't like how he Am I gonna have that. to stand here all day until you tell me the truth? You know the driver. I'm telling you I don't know who was driving that car. You can prove it different. Um <sighs> Let me see observe suspect. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. If I if I believe him in his You ever seen the Oh we got it right, yes. Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kinda stood out. Contents of wallet. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? What? Why, why did he say it like, nah, I don't know, bro. Tell the truth, Mr. Wilkie. You rifled the wallet. My money is my money. You can't prove I touched that wallet. Why was it outside, though? What 
We're gonna doubt. Don't ask, you never find out. We're gonna uh, doubt, doubt, doubt. Do you want the nice. patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Bloodstained pipe found. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. I believe him. When you saw yeah! the car, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. Nice. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We got four we'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. All right. I'll talk to him. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. All right. They said that... They said that when I'm by the car, hold triangle to make him drive. Yeah, I walked by before. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you drive, bro. You know the way. You can drive. The black residents. All right. Where to? All right. Bro, slot. Why did they just? Oh my gosh. All right. All right, we at the house. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Oh, boy. Just a minute. Wait, so if she's alive, then he didn't kill her. So did, oh, he died. He must have died. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. All right. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. She seems sus. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. She seemed real, real, real sus. Okay, got some stuff here. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Then why make me pick it up? We have another one. Put that down. Stop making me pick everything up, bro. Oh my gosh. Maybe. No. Alright, so when he says stuff like that, then that means it's irrelevant. Alright, let's get out of here, because I don't think nothing in here is important. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Alright, let's check every room. But well, we got a newspaper. Elianus Fountain provides help to trouble vets. Story behind headline. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. <laughs> I think this is a. He seems very concerned about you. I, I think I missed the first newspaper in that alley. Visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull. It, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Whoa. Just like that? I 
want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. The occasions that made you laugh. The times that made you smile. He kill him. All right, that was kind of creepy. All right, we got some cigarettes and we got a lighter. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh's bar. Maybe Los Angeles. was a patron. R and I should have an address. All right. All right, so. Well, we have something we got to call it in. All right, I'm going to call that in. I see there's a phone in the kitchen. We're going to call that in in a little bit. Oh, Insta Heat. We got it. Huh. Insta Heat Flyer. All right, they cannot rust a corrode. They are guaranteed for 10 years. Okay, so we got a flyer. Nice. What is Brokowski doing? I hear him opening and closing the door. What are you doing, gang? The receipt was only recently installed, not two days ago. Wow. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. I'm gonna go. I heard her say that the pipe thing was ill. Yo, yo, let me do my job, all right? I don't see you walking around investigating, homeboy. See what we got in the bathroom. Iron. I don't think this is. I don't think this is relevant. This isn't what we're looking for. Yeah, this don't look relevant. All right. What is this bedroom? Oh, the glasses case. I bet you the glasses is missing. This must be Adrian's. Yes. Stenzel. Same company. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Yes, sir. We getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. All right, picture. All right, further investigation. To my Adrian, love sick. To my Adrian. Love sick and like lonely more without more you. Hurry back, my darling Nicole. Who's Nicole? Ooh, do I smell an affair? Oh. <laughs> And it's hiding in plain sight, bro. It looks like they might be sleeping in separate bedrooms. Why is this in here? This this, this ain't they bedroom. No, they were. Oh, they was not happy. See? I told y'all. Do not ever think that a happy couple is really a happy couple. There be things going on that we don't know. I smell an affair. Train ticket. ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Yeah, Adrian, he might not be dead, y'all. But then again, it, what's all that blood? But there was something for a live hog. So I think he. I don't want to see my brain starts doing a lot of things, man. What if, right? What if he bought a live hog? and killed the hog and then he you you know what i don't even want to i don't want to make no predictions yet but i don't think mr adrian is dead we got another picture that's just separate bedrooms separate pictures what gives here you feel me can we investigate this further they weren't even sleeping in the same room they weren't even happy for real oh boy oh boy yeah we get into the meat and potatoes yes sir yes sir all right so we're gonna call we're gonna call this in matter of fact what's on this fridge anything on the fridge all right so we're gonna go on the side of the house we're gonna check the heater because she said the heater was on the side of the house um Use L1 to use intuition to search for clues. It, what's this? What's this? Uh, tweezers? I said tweezers. I don't he think so. Hedge clippers? Uh, I don't know what that is, actually. 
Oh, oh, what do we have here? Missing pipes. No use leaving the thing half finished. Bro, I'm that's not that's not a part of our pay grade. <clears throat> this is above our pay grade, bro. Alright, so this goes no. That can't be right. Nah, pick that back up. Pick that back up. Yeah. Alright. We got something right here. That goes right there. We got something right here. This goes right here. We got something right here. This goes. This goes right here. And we got the missing pipe. So the pipe missing from Mr. The plot thickens. Find and solve an inspection Black puzzle. Nice. The same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Might be, bro. But then again, this this could be this could be framed. I think we got everything. So we're gonna we're gonna call this in now and then talk to her. We're gonna call it in. Let's call it in. Where, 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 where? What a phone at? Oh, it's right here. Let's go. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. All right, now we're going to talk to her. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Let's go. I'm all right now, detective. All right. I'm glad you're in good headspace. Let's talk. Slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. Okay, God we got a Frank Morgan. I believe you. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Kavanaugh's Bar Matchbook. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's Bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. I believe you. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Location of Adrian Black. Do I want to ask that one? All right, we're going to ask it. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. I believe you. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Stenzel glasses case. Look at her. All right. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. All right, we got the evidence, yes. Go on. <laughs> I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Photograph signed Nicole. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Mm, I don't believe you. Let me see. Uh, we're going to use intuition, though, because I don't believe that. And I don't think she's telling the truth about that. Listen, when one thing about women. I'm, I've never been married, but I can assume that like as a wife. You're going through problems with your husband. You're going to start snooping because one of the first thing women think about when it comes to like 
their husband moving a certain way they don't think anything else besides cheating so we already know you suspect cheating like we already know that you you you're you're suspicious of him cheating you're a woman that's just what women do there's plenty to tell you just won't tell it you're lying about the photograph mrs black you're incredibly rude and insensitive but i guess you know that i told you what i know about the picture all right uh Concealed message. Please be right. What about Woo! Nicole? This is black. The straight dope. Use evidence to prove a lie as an LAPD detective. Oh, yes. Was your husband going to leave you for her? Damn. I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. See, what did I just I say? What did I just say? If he intended to leave me, or if it was just a fling, God only knows. What did I just say, y'all? I only want to know that he's safe. What did I just say? Women, women's intuition is practically never wrong. So, fellas, if you're gonna cheat, well, I don't condone cheating, but realistically. Just don't cheat, bro, because you can never surpass a woman's intuition. It's something that us men that like we like we think that we're being slick. But if a woman really loves you, she's paying attention to you from head to toe. She she knows when you're supposed to get home at a certain time. She knows when like you're starting to act different. She bro, even even like if you even if you wear a different type of cologne, they will suspect something because it's like you usually wear this cologne now you're wearing this cologne like what's going on like yo i i i, I don't know how women's and i don't know how they do it but they Please would hurry. always my husband might be injured they will always know when we're cheating bro so it's best to just leave her or not cheat just yeah man all right alibi i think you should come clean with us mrs black your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. I believe you, but then again, I might be wrong. Is there yeah. anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We got everything we'll keep right. You informed, Let's Mrs. go. Black. Please do, detective. Let's go, bro. Why is the suspicious music still going off? I feel like I got everything that I needed. I got everything. I don't know what's going on, bro. Move, bro. I, I'm gonna drop to this one. I wanna have. I wanna put my. my I wanna put the pedal to the metal. California, New York, New York, all right. And Milwaukee, U-turn. Jesus, I'm it's not illegal because I'm a cop. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. I know. All right, we made it. Cavanaugh's bar. Let's get it. All right. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's talk to you. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? Who the hell are you? Bro, move, bro. Look Man said, someone. no, you don't. All right, let's talk. Let's have a talk. 
You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Oh, he here. He's here. Wow. That makes my life. So you're not dead. Frank Morgan? Who Wait, no, no. That's, that's... Adrian Black is the one we're dis... Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Ugh. Tough, right? Lying already, bro. Linked to abandoned vehicle. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Lying. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, gang. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? All right, watch, watch I do that. Uh, receipt for live hog. I think it's this one. Insta heat. Train ticket. Not nah, receipt for live hog. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked so he did use the he they did kill the live hog bro my brain be braining bro location of adrian black where exactly is black hold up no idea i think he took off for seattle intuition you think he took off for seattle we can't prove that though uh because the ticket the ticket that he has is it's a ticket that he bought beforehand i don't remember getting any clues that could now nah, we're gonna we're gonna we, we're gonna doubt it i'm tired of your stick morgan spill it or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you Ooh, hold hell up yeah. in my place He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows. Oh, yeah, it's your credit. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Yeah! I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Got Bro. them, let them go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. I love these waitresses. Everyone's a dog. Bro, arrest him. He... All right, so nobody died, right? But they're, they're, they're trying to cover up a murder. No, they're faking his death. I think faking your death is illegal, right? Hold on, we're going to look this up. Give me one second, y'all. All right, so I'm reading something out here that says, even though faking, faking one's own suicide, whatever, death isn't inherently a crime, you basically be drowning in fraud. All right, so I'm seeing things here that says faking your death is really not illegal. So like arresting this guy, he just be out in a couple of hours. He could probably sue too. So let me let we're not gonna arrest him. Nah, you're good. He just refuses to accompany me to church. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go back to my drink. God damn it all! I asked them to hold up. Man. Yeah, go go back to your drink, bro. You got it. You got it. Uh, that guy that was outside left. Ha! All right, let's go nail this dude. Pause. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. Huh. Type is clever, hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. All right, we made it. Let's do this. Let's check the place out. Come on. All right, let's go. Whoa. Got a vibration already. All right, he wasn't lying about his apartment. Apartment two. OK. 
Okay, so he wasn't capping. All right, apartments one through four. All right, only door with a gold handle. Help you, gentlemen? Yeah. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. He about to run, bro. See? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Go him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, oh, boy. The Let's do it. Damn, he kind of fast for a big dude. There's no point running, Adrian. Where are you about to... What do you think you're about to escape to on the roof? Oh, no. He ran this way. All right. Let's get him. We got Mr. him. Mr. Black, get back here right now. All right, slide, slide, slide. Come on. It's over, Adrian. Yeah. Good, good job, partner. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Pause. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Do we still got to question him? That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Mm. Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You can go a long way in this department. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Third degree. Correctly branch every question in an interview in a single story case. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Golden boy. Clear a case finding every clue. We got everything. Yes! At the up and up. Completed story case with a five star rate. Yo, we did our thing on that one. I don't know if I'm gonna be so lucky again. So with that being said, I'm going to end this episode on a high note. I am not going. To... No sir, no sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please don't boo me. Don't boo me. Um, like I said, I'm back from vacay, so it's not gonna take me all week to drop another episode y'all so please just bear with me that was a good time though i did, i had a good time that was fun man but um lsg y'all make sure you sub up make sure you like and subscribe because we're gonna be back we're gonna be back all right now i will see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>